Pastor Sorry, right, I can so, hear you. My you. headphones failing. All right, thank you very much. I thought that, that you guys were having a hearing. All right, so let's get it started, guys. We have a lot to do today, okay? So do me a favor, please. Read it with me. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Thank you. By the end of this section, participants will be able to practice using future perfect and future perfect continuous. By the end of this section, participants will be able to practice using future perfect and future perfect continuous. Very good. Um, help me out with the pronunciation here. Able. 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 Everyone. Able. Able. Participants will be able. Participants will be able. Participants will be able. All right, thank you very much. So guys, today we're gonna to be working with future perfect continuous and future perfect, okay? Let me go ahead and play the audio. Please mute your microphones and we go from there. Okay. Hello, in this class we will show you when and how to use future perfect and future perfect continuous. Future perfect and future perfect continuous. Use the future perfect to emphasize that something will be completed or achieved by a particular point in the future. By this time next year, your self-confidence will have increased. Use the future perfect continuous to emphasize the duration of an activity in progress at a particular point in the future. By the end of next year, you will have been studying your chosen language for 12 months. Future perfect and future perfect continuous. They express the completion or duration of an action or event at some point in the future. They can be used to talk about an event or action that started in the past, but will not be completed until the future. The future perfect. The future perfect is made up of the simple future of will plus the present perfect. For example, by this time next year, I will have graduated from school. The future perfect continuous is made up of the simple future of will plus the present perfect continuous. Example, by this time next year, I will have been studying English for six months. Common time phrases for these sentences. After, by then, before, when, by the time, by tomorrow, by eight o'clock, this year, this month, this week, next year, next month, next week, for five hours, for 10 years, for a few days, for six months, since morning, since Friday, since 1996. Use these time expressions to write sentences using either future perfect or future perfect continuous. Number one, before this class ends. Number two, in two years' time. Number three, by the end of the week. Alrighty, guys. So, as you can see, future perfect and future perfect continuous is going to be for actions that will have finished or will be happening in the future. Okay? Now, before we uh, move... The simple future of will... Here is sentences. Before we move forward, guys, it is very useful for you to know some time expressions for you to use the tense. Okay? So, how do you say luego? After. After, correct. Um, para cierto momento o para entonces? By then. By then. 
All right. What is the meaning of before? Antes. Eh, Antes. I... Like previous. Hmm? Like previously. Like so previous. sometime prior to something else. When? Entonces. It will be more like one day. One. Mm -hmm. By the time. Mm -hmm. Al tiempo mm -hmm. que. Aha, by the time o para el momento que. For example, para el momento o para el tiempo en que me gradúe. By the time I graduate. Okay. By the time I finish my class. Al momento de haber finalizado mi clase. So, we foresee. Do you know what is meaning of foresee? Mm -mm. No? Don't worry. So, foresee, guys. Foresee is when you prevent. Okay? When you see ahead in time. Is it clear? Yes. Yes? All right. Very good. So, here, by tomorrow, by 8 o'clock, this year, this month, this week, and we can also use it here, next year, next month, next week, for five hours, for 10 years, for a few days, for six months, since morning, since Friday, since 1996. So how do you say this del 2001? Since 2001. Mm -hmm. Since 2001. How do you say desde la mañana? Since morning. Since this morning. Since, I would say the morning. Since the morning. Oh. How do you say desde el viernes? Since Friday. Since Friday, correct. Since, since Friday. Desde el lunes? Since Monday. Mm -hmm. Very good. These time expressions are super useful for the tense that we're going to use, all right? How do you say por cinco horas? Five, five, five hours. hours. For five hours. For five hours. Mm -hmm. How do you say por diez años? For ten for years. For ten years. For cinco years. años? Years. For five years. Four years. For cinco minutos? For five minutes. Five minutes. Correct. Por un par de días? For a couple for of days. For a couple of days. For a couple is un par. Uh -huh. Por unos For a few days. For a few days. For, for, for a few days. Por unos meses. Por unos cuantos meses. For a few months. Por unos cuantos años. For, for a, a few, few years. years. Por unos cuantas horas. For a, for a few, few hours. hours. For a few hours, correct. For six meses. For six uh, months. For six months. Months. Mm -hmm. Now, the pronunciation of the word month, when it's singular, you're going to have the TH sound here. Month. Say it with month. me. Month. 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 With this one, guys, exaggerate the sound. You have to exaggerate. Otherwise, it's not going to sound as it should. Month. 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 Come on, guys. Cuando les digo exaggerate, es que exageren. Porque me lo están dejando muy corto. All right. Month. <laughs> más, 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 más. Month. 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 Ahí está, Month. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Try to keep it for like five seconds. Month. 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 Good. Month. There you go. Good. This is going to help you with your pronunciation, right? So for mm. singular, we say one month. But then we say two months. Month. Months. Month. Months. Months. Mm -hmm. months. Good. Now, let me see. I I cannot make this. Give me a second because I don't know what I did here. All right. Well, I don't know if you're able to see my screen. Here, this is what I'm trying to tell you. Month. Look at my my mouth position. Month. Month. This is for singular, just for one. But if we have it in plural, we cannot say month. Right? It's actually unnatural. So we say months. 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 With months. S at the end. Yes, months. Months. Uh, 
¿Ah? Two months. Two months. Two months. No hagamos good. Pausa. Perdón por el español, guys. En esto estoy haciendo énfasis porque es un, un error muy común. ¿Ok? Con la TH, solo cuando decimos un mes, vamos a poner la posición como la Z. Ahí, ahí, vale. Pero cuando estamos hablando de meses en plural, no ponemos la posición de la Z, sino es como un directamente. All right. Mírenme la boca. Months. 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 Two months. Three months. Three months. Three months. Three months. Good. Uh, Eduardo, how do you say un mes? Month. 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 Ajá, tú lo estás haciendo como TH. Pero anyways, um, te recomiendo, o les recomiendo, I recommend you to watch videos on the articulation of the TH sound. Because I see that there's a little bit of complication with that sound, okay? Very okay. good. So, give me just a second. Just a All right. All right. Here it is. I wanted to get out of that. Mm -hmm. All right. So, let's make it happen. Just one second. Just one moment. For some reason, I'm unable to exit this thing. Give me just a moment. After by then, before going by the time, by tomorrow, 8 o'clock, June 1. In the meantime, I practice that, guys. I'm unable to to get out of this screen. I want to share something to you, but I'm unable to manage it. Just one moment, I'm having some technical issues right here. All right, finally, I got, I got. All right, sorry for the delay, guys. I was having issues going back to my main screen. Don't worry. Now I got it. All right, so future perfect, guys. We're gonna use it for an action that will have finished in a particular time in the in the future. All right, as we see here on this screen. On this one, will plus the present. It's made up. Right? By this time next year, I will have graduated from school. Okay? Future perfect. So, how do you say, en este momento, el próximo año, ya me voy a haber graduado de la escuela? By the next time. By, by the next time next year i will have graduated from the school i will have graduated very good let me go ahead and open the chat who has goals for next for, for this december who has goals for this december <laughs> me <laughs> you okay so tell me about your goals using future perfect uh, by this time next December, mm -hmm. I will have a uh, travel to Cancun. Nice, nice goal. So help me out. How do you say para enero 2021? Yo ya voy a, yo ya me voy a, yo ya me voy a ver casado. By this time, Gen Genoa, <laughs> Genoa, I don't know. 
remember. January 2021. Mm -hmm. I will have. What is the past part of the Get. Have God. 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 God and Mary. God and Mary. <laughs> God and I will so, have gotten married. It's an action that will have finished by some time in the future. All right? Now, a las 11 de la noche, ya me voy a ver dormido. Mm -hmm. By 11 p.m., mm -hmm. I will have got to sleep. Very good. Oh, almost there. How do you say ir a la cama? Go to, Go to bed. bed. Went to bed. Uh -huh. Go, went. Go to bed. And the past participle of go. Of go. go. Gone. Gone to bed. There you go. Mm -hmm. So you can see it in the chat because I'm typing it in the chat. I will have gone to bed by 11 p.m. Or by 11 p.m. I will have gone to bed. Okay. Now, <clears throat> cuando termine el año, me voy a haber cambiado de casa. By the end of the year. Uh -huh. We can have by the end of the year. Uh -huh. I will. What? Me I will change. have changed. Change it. Change it. Have of house. Moved out. Uh, Moved out. Mudarnos. Ah, oh, mudarse. Uh -huh. For us to live is going to be moved out. <laughs> Very good. So the structure, as you can see, guys, is subject plus will plus have plus past participle plus complement. All right. So how do you say? Para mañana en la noche, María va a haber completado su tarea. Para mañana en la noche, María va a haber completado su tarea. By tomorrow at night. By tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. María will have. Will have or will or will has. Will has. Computer her homework. Okay, very good. Has, no? Have or has? What do you say? Uh, we have. We'll have. Has. We'll have, exactly. Because we have the but previous. Auxiliary. Is auxiliary. Oh, okay, yes. Uh -huh. In these ones, we don't use third person. All right? Simple okay. as that. Maria will have. Completed. Completed. Her homework. Her homework. Homework. Very good. I think that we have it. Right? Now, a las 11 de la noche. No, vamos a ocupar otro, otro time expression. Let's go ahead and use another time expression. Antes de medianoche, voy a haber estudiado cinco horas. For midnight, I will, I will have studied. Have studied. Mm -hmm. And then? The complement, what is what, 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 what? For cinco horas. I will have studied for, 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 uh, for, for five hours. For five hours, very good. Okay. Para, el, para la hora que tú vengas, yo ya voy a haber cenado. By the hour. By the time that you will, that there you will arrive. I don't know if you're if you're checking these guys, but I'm asking you the time expressions that we practiced previously, and we have them on the screen. By the time that you will you arrived, you arrived. Uh huh. What is? Yo ya voy a ver I, I already. I've already. I've or I will. Oh, excuse me, I yes, will, I will. I will. I will have. Ya voy a haber comido. 
I will have already. Already. Eden. 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 Very good. So as you can see, guys, this this uh, structure is not as complicated. Do you think it's ah. really complicated? No. La siente no. yuca? Yeah. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> All right. Now, the, the, let me go ahead and help you with this. This is a website, guys, that you can use. Eagle for you. And in this website, you're going to have a lot of exercises in order for you to practice your grammar. Okay? So, in the meantime, guys, because my internet, believe me, I hate this internet company. It's kind of slow, but there we go. When do we use future... Perfect, guys. When do we use future perfect? Mm -hmm. When do we invent that? Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. Remember, future perfect is going to be used for an action that will have finished in the future. Where is it? Where is it? Is it future? I can find it. Give me just a second. Present, present perfect scene. Present perfect. Future simple. Future progressive. All right. You know what? Let me look for it with time. I'll look for it in a minute. Now, this is what I wanted to do, guys. I wanted to give me examples. Freddy, give me a sentence. Okay. By the time that by the time you call me, um, I will have finished. My, the exercise. Finish doing exercise. Mm -hmm. By the time you call me, I will have finished doing exercise. Para el momento que tú me llames, yo ya voy a haber terminado de hacer ejercicio. All right? Um, I'm using it in Spanish. Yo estoy ocupando en español para que veamos, guys, que es una acción que decimos que ya va a estar finalizada en el futuro. Okay? Very good. Nidia, la voy a dejar de último. Okay? So you can get the example. Maribel, give me an example, please. The rest of you start thinking in an example because I'm going to ask all of you. By... Uh, uh, by the time is... The meaning of by the, by the time is... Por el tiempo, por este momento. Para el momento en que tal cosa pase, yo tal cosa. By the end of this year, I will, I will have gone to Canada again. There you go. I will have gone to Canada again. Fantastic. Evelyn, help me, please. Any example? <laughs> but the... At the time of the next year, I will have changed my car. Good. By next year, By I next year. Oh. will have changed my car. My Fantastic. Car. Good. I liked it. So thank you, Freddy, Maribel, Evelyn. Uh, Ricardo, give me an example, please. Then we have Huawei. Oh, I got it. Thank you, thank you. We don't want to hear reggaeton, so thank you for letting us know, Ricky. Um, Huawei P20 Lite, who are you? <laughs> Mr. Huawei or Mrs. Huawei? All right. Very good. Eduardo, give me an example, please. Well... I believe after midnight, I will have finished my client's uh, tax forms. Okay, so 
did you say by midnight or para la medianoche? Sí, después de medianoche, I believe. <laughs> okay, very good. After <laughs> midnight. After the, after the midnight. After the midnight? No, after midnight. I, after midnight. I believe after midnight, I will have finished my client. My client tax forms. My client's tax forms. Okay, good job. Thank you. Um, Nidia, your turn. Okay. By the end of the class, I will know if my mother's friend is okay. Um, hmm. So, yo ya voy a ver, yo ya voy a saber si mi, si el amigo de mi mamá está bien. My mother's friend, the mother of my friend. Oh, okay, all right. So, by the end of the class, I, check the structure, will have known. We have known mm -hmm. if my mother's friend is okay. Is okay. All right, thank you very much. Julia? You hear Julia? All right, well, I'm not sure if she's here or not, but let's go ahead and continue, guys. Now, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to open up the break. I'm going to open up the break rooms, <clears throat> and I wanted to talk about your plans for this year. Okay? So, in my case, by May, I will have paid, uh, let's say June. I don't want to be too optimistic. By June, I will have paid my debt. Hopefully. Crossing, mm -hmm. crossing my, my fingers. Okay. Well, goodbye for that. All right. So I wanted to talk about why, because I'm going to work a lot, because I'm going to save as much money as I can, and I'm going to pay bills. That's it. Bills, 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 bills. So by July, I will have moved out. If you know about a house near Boulevard Constitución, let me know because I'm planning on renting a house. <laughs> All right? All right, guys. All right. Okay. Is it clear? Yeah. You're going to yeah. use Future Perfect to talk about your plans for this year. But make sure you talk about a date and that is going to be completed. Let me go ahead and open up the break rooms. Please accept the invite. There we go. Accept it, please. All right, invites sent. You should be able to receive it soon. There you go, Freddy, Ricardo, and Nidia, you're missing. Ricky, you're the only one missing. Vocabulary. Sorry, what? Did you have the the image from uh, vocabulary? Do you? No, I don't. Okay, I will try. I, I will try now. To take a screenshot. Let me try to screenshot send and and send it to the WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I'm trying to do okay. it right now. Because I already have opened section four. Oh. All right. While you do it, use by the time. But a moment of okay. By the time I graduate, by the time I finish my class, etc. While we get the image, let's get practice. Okay. By the time I finish. By the time I will have finished my university, I know. By, by the this time I finish my university. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> by the time I finish my then university, mm -hmm. I will have both a house. I will have bought a house. Good, 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 good. I like it. Okay, 
good? Okay. What other plans do you have, guys? It's a good plan. It is a fantastic plan. It's a, it's a fantastic plan because maybe the, the easiest rent a house. Well, I believe by the time or maybe in six months, I believe, or I hope in another job. I will have. Uh, I will have another job. I will have gotten another job. I will have gotten a new job. Uh -huh. Remember that you need to use. Yes. I will have yes, in the is, past participle. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Good job, Evelyn. And by five years, I will have. You can use in five years. In five years, I will have um, paid my land. Okay, or All right. my land, or my property, perhaps, la propiedad. My property, okay. Uh -huh. My property. Okay. okay, thank you. All right, fantastic. You're doing a great job, guys. Continue, um, continue talking about your dreams. You seem okay. perfect. I'm gonna check the other group. Okay, thank you. Make sure to help, make sure you help each other as far as the structure, okay? That way you practice. Okay. And how to do it too. Okay. Yes, but it's better that you go to this, these things as earlier as it can be. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that's good. And uh, and the social security is good for that level of of surgery. The the basic levels are bad, but um, surgery or specialties they are very good. They have uh, the best doctors, the best equipment. Equipment, so, uh -huh. yes, equipment. that's good. The best surgeons, too. Surgeons, okay. Surgeons. Thank you. Surgeons. Yes. Surgeons. yes. Right. By, by the end of this class, we will have gotten to understand the topic. <laughs> yes. We, we, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> yes, me too. We, we will have gotten to understand this topic. You mm -hmm. see? Mm -hmm. But you're super close. <laughs> Listen up, guys. Um, check the check chat. The chat. I just sent you a link. Okay. 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 I know that you are super close of of uh, mastering this, so that's why I wanted to try to accomplish this link by finishing the uh, the exercises. Okay? okay. So we have a lot of exercises, so I wanted to do at least ten. Okay. Uh -huh, at least 10. So go ahead and Thank open it. That's an open. Okay. Are you able to open it? Yes. Yeah. All and right. Charging. So the first one, for example, you have in parentheses, I, parentheses, leave by six. I have left. Uh, remember the structure will be subject, will, have, and the past. Uh, you see. All right. Try to do the first ones. I'm going to give this to the other group, okay? I'll be right back. Okay. You. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Ready? Hello. I, I don't. Where are you? Yes. Hey, listen up. I have added to the chat. I have added a link to the chat. I wanted to please okay. open that link and complete the first ten exercises so you can master the, the structure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me know when you have opened it, and I want everybody to open it. 
Mm. I can see it. Okay. No. It, it's mm. not in the WhatsApp in group, the, it's in the chat. In the chat? That's right, I, I, I saw, I already. Let me send it to the WhatsApp group just in case. Please? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. So I wanted to please open it. There, what you're gonna find is pretty much Ooh. spaces, right? The first okay. one you have, I, the space, in parentheses, leave. Mm. That is the verb that you're gonna conjugate by six. Oh. Okay. okay. So what do you think is the first? Opening. Okay. The first one is, I will have. I will have. Uh -huh. I will have. No, I will have left. I will have left by six p.m. By six. By six. Is it too difficult? No. 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 Uh -huh. Now, the idea is for you to help each other. Hey guys, let's do number one. What do you think it is? And you share. Okay. Um, okay. Thank you. Okay, just let me you... open the link. It doesn't open. Okay. You have finished. With, uh, with PD. Yeah. Will you finish the report by the deadline? Will you finish? Will, will, will you have finished? Will you <laughs> have finished? Finished. <laughs> That's correct. Yeah. Will you have finished? Will you have? Mm -hmm. And then you check it. Make sure that you click on check. Okay. Will you have? You have finished. But finish is finish or finish or finish only. Finished is the past participle. So okay. it's ed, ed at the end. Exactly. Ed. All right. Try to do the first 10. Okay. All right. Help each other and then we're going to go back to the group. Let me check how the other group is doing. Okay. Okay. Hey guys, how's it going? How's, when, will, how's ground? when will we done everything? When will we have done everything? When will we have done? When will we have done? Mm -hmm. When will we have done? When will we have done? Check, check, it's okay. Number four. She will she will have finished. She finish. will have finished. Finish it. Uh-huh. Finish. With I with finish. ED. Now make sure that you are all doing it at the same time. I don't want it, uh, anybody be left behind, all right? So everybody do it at the same time. She you will have, have read her exams by the end. So we can go out for dinner. So with this type of exercises, you're gonna master the grammar or, or you have a better understanding of this. But help each other, don't do it alone. Okay. I'm on fire right now. You're on fire? Yes, I do. There you go. You see, and you were saying that it was difficult, but now you got it. <laughs> so by the end of this class, as Freddie mentioned, you will have understood this topic. Good. Yes. All right. I'm going to give you four more minutes, guys, and then we go back to the main room, all right? How are you guys? Hi. Fine. Okay. Do you finish the 10 exercise? Remember, help each other. It's not about who finishes first. Do it together. 
I am in the fixed we can exercise. Write, we can write want, teacher. On which one? Number six. Yes, I have the same problem. She want, she want. She won't have. The thing finish, is that in order, for, in order for you to have it correct, you need to use the right apostrophe. Because uh -huh. on the computer you have two. So it's going to be the one on my computer at least is in the same of the question mark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So you write down W O N the apostrophe. Thank you. You're welcome. But remember, help each other. Hey guys, I'm doing number. You're the ten first. When will first you? Tenth? Okay, she, the six, is. Uh -huh. She will not have finished. There you go. She will not have finished work by seven. Mm -hmm. Good. Then do the same with number seven, all right? Tell you, hey, what do you think is number seven? Number seven is this. Let's check. Don't cheat, okay? <laughs> you okay. Can, you can click on show and that's going to give you the answer, but that's not the point, all right? Okay. All right, let me check the other group. Three minutes and we go back to the main one. Okay. Arrive. arrive. E D at the D at the end. B. Which one? Number eight. The eight. Uh, we'll have a ride with D. Arrive. D, uh, yeah. D at the end. Yeah. yeah. Good. We will. The nine is we will the participle of these where and that's the past being mm -hmm. being that's right sorry so, don't be sorry it's fine you are all working together so never be sorry you are here to make mistakes and to learn thank Well, the 10. Will she have Gordon? No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have wrong. Is yes, I have wrong too. <laughs> right. She will have gotten. It's a question, remember. It's a question. Will, will we... she have Gordon? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> have will she? <laughs> no, because no, it's time I will have will have she gotten. <laughs> no. Yes. Home by lunch. Home by lunch time. All right, on this one, you can say, um, maybe have got. You can also say, have uh, got. pass. Mm -hmm. Is the thing is that it's accepted, but it, it should be uh, gotten. The thing is that you, you say, we should have got home, it's accepted. So yes, you can use G O T on this. One. Yes, right. will she? Will, will she, she what? Will she have got? Ah uh, yes. Mm -hmm. It's right. correct. Let's go back to the main. Only room. got. Yes, only got. Yeah. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. All righty. So thank you, Eduardo. We're just gonna wait for the rest of the people to come. Okay. And we close the session. They must be trying to find out the information about number ten. Yes, it's kind of mm -hmm. kind of tough one. Yeah, it is tough, but 
not impossible. That's right. I bet that they don't want to come because they are still trying number 10. Mark my, <laughs> when we say mark my words, it's like, mira lo que te digo, mark my words. Mm. It's a good way of saying that. Mark my words that they are still working on number 10. There we go. So, alrighty, guys. Welcome back, Maribel, Nidia. Were you able to finish number 10? Guys, yes. guys, you're muted, Maribel. Maribel, turn, turn on the, the mic. Mic, okay. Were you able to, to do it? Yeah. With or without cheating? <laughs> <laughs> All right. It depends what do you consider is cheating. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we go. Yeah, I, I was telling the other group guys that that expression is accepted. Although grammatically have gotten, but yeah, have you got home? It's like uh, a famous restaurant here, got wings. Have you heard that expression? So it's yes. much the same. So it is accepted. So now, guys, um, this tense, it is used perhaps not that common, but you have to master it. Due to the fact that I, that I noticed that it was a little bit difficult, I decided to give you more practice. So on Monday, we're going to do the same, but with future perfect continues. Because the, okay. perfect, the perfect tenses, it's not that they are complicated, but there are other ways of saying stuff. But it's your duty as a learner of a second language to know it is your duty to learn it whether you use it or not that's up to you you can always find other ways of saying stuff so uh, part of your homework guys now that you're on fire now that you are on the horse go ahead and finish mm -hmm. number 20 without cheating okay mm -hmm. okay <laughs> Only if there is an impasse an impasse i typed it on the on the group when there's an impasse is that you cannot move that's it you're stuck if you don't know if you don't want your head to explode then go ahead and check it but other than that try to do your best okay okay fantastic guys any question on these tense no 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 so you can tell me when to use it right <laughs> when do we use it yes for an action that will have finished in, in the future. In the future. Uh huh. In the future, we use future con future perfect for an action that will have finished in the future. Again, say with me: we use future perfect. You use an action. Perfect. One action. An action will have finished in the future. That we have finished in the future. In the future. If you notice, guys, in the same description of the tense, you have the structure. Mm -hmm. Okay. We use future perfect to talk about an action that will have finished in the future. So we make emphasis that will have that will be completed by a certain time in the future. All right okay okay guys so uh, thank you very much for being here thank you for logging in do your homework now that you're on the horse all right keep on practicing finish the 20 the, the 20 exercises this is ingles corporativo remember tomorrow we have no class so i hope you will have a nice valentine's day with your husband wife friend best friend con que, up to you just have fun and don't spend <laughs> much money thanks <laughs> happy valentine to you too my pleasure guys Bye, have valentine. see you Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Good bye, teacher. I will. I will. <laughs> bye, bye. Bye. Goodbye, guys. <laughs>